What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS and what we're going to be talking about in the video today is the skeleton spell and very interesting unique ways to use the skeleton spell. I got all kinds of action lined up for you guys from Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 10 all the way to Town Hall 11 and as you guys know I always save the best for last so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video so what we're gonna do is start over from the war we had fortune steel versus one hive genesis good game to them so the attack you're looking at right now i've heard it called a couple things we're, we've called it the golden shower i've also heard it called the ham bone which is also unique in itself but the army composition always requires at least two skeleton spells one of your own and one of them donated maxed in the clan castle we have seen this attack uh town hall 9 9v9 like you guys are seeing right now we've also even seen it 10v10 but we're going to check out this town hall 9 attack first so basically he suicided his heroes king took out a cannon and a couple teslas down at the bottom uh queen trimmed a couple defenses from the top trying to carve a nice defensive path so the hogs don't wander too far out on the sides that way he gets maximum value for those heal spells you always bring four on this attack so we'll go ahead and zoom in i'm even going to pause it for you guys but check this out dropping down both skeleton spells as the queen was taking out hog once she kills that hog the very next target is the closest thing to her being the skeletons and she gets completely over warm uh overwhelmed overwarmed uh overwhelmed by the skeleton spells taking her out and even with a bonus you guys with the king and queen next to each other the skeleton spells even ended up taking out uh that barbarian king the enemy barbarian king uh he's gonna be closing this out with all kinds of hogs we'll go ahead and times this like i said don't want the video to get too long but i have a lot of very unique content to bring to you guys and that was our first example. We'll go ahead and check out one more Town Hall 9 attack. Uh, who is this guy? This is my uh, Town Hall 9 account, Baby Rigs over in FYSB. Huge shout out to them. Absolutely love FYSB. And check this out with the 2022 heroes, you guys. Come on. 2022 heroes taking on this max defense. Town Hall 9. Sui Lalo is so OP when executed right. But check this out. Went ahead. We dropped one loon as there was an easy lure uh, enemy clan castle. Pulled out all the air targeting stuff. Heroes down here at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and grab a Tesla. We're going to go ahead and grab two wizard towers as well. And taking care of the enemy CC troops. Now, that leaves up the enemy queen. It's very common at Town Hall 9 to have the enemy queen right smack dab in the center of the base. How do you deal with the enemy queen? By using the max skeleton spell along with a raid spell to really take her out quickly. So we go ahead and pop queen ability. Second wizard tower goes down. Starting Olalo over here at nine o'clock. Just drop down a couple pounds, very traditional. Uh, just dropping down anywhere from three to four loons to take on these defenses. Uh, double haste, leading those into a rage. Check this out, guys. Those skeleton spells are, in fact, inside that rage. There's no splash around her, whether that be from the wizard towers or from the bomb tower. Now, as we watch the attack play out, in the event that there's one uh, bomb tower by the enemy queen, you have to make sure that those loons take out that bomb tower or they're pretty damn close to taking out the bomb tower before you drop the skeleton spell. If not, that bomb tower can completely wreck all of your skellies. And before you know it, uh, once you know the, the Lalo's wrapping up, you look in the, you look at your screen and realize, holy shit, this is gonna be a fail because you have a max queen running around picking off all your balloons. So you have to make sure if there's a bomb tower near that queen you have to make sure the bomb tower is either out of range of the skellies, like you pull the queen away with a, with a, a loon or hound, uh, or you make sure those loons are about to take out uh, the bomb tower. Then you have your rage down, you have your skeleton spells down, even swag to heal on that one, and you will take her out every single time. And also make sure she's not going to hop over any wall, so you got to be very careful with the spell placement sometimes uh, to go ahead and grab the enemy queen. Okay, guys. 
now we're gonna go ahead and check out some heavy hitter action. I got two Town Hall 10 attacks to show you guys and one 11v11 attack, so definitely stay tuned. This is gonna be coming from Clayton Bigsby, AKA Cody. Um, this is also from our war against uh, One Hive Genesis. Now, we've seen the skeleton spell used to take out the enemy queen from a ground attack. We've used the skeleton spell to show you guys how to take out the enemy queen on an air attack. Now we're gonna show you guys how you can use the skeleton spell to distract something like a single shot inferno tower. So it's a traditional um, bitch attack. We have queen going inside the kill squad, sending her in. We have bowlers and witches on each flank, but check that out guys. Notice he drops down that skeleton spell to distract the inferno tower. So that way the giants stay up longer. That way the bowlers stay up, especially something like the barbarian king. He is the fastest troop on the map uh, besides the archer queen. He, for whatever reason, always finds his way to get into that Inferno Tower range when it's on single target and he gets wiped out. Even if you pop his ability, does not matter. He gets wiped out in a matter of seconds. So using something on a bitch attack where there's an Inferno Tower on the back end of the base, distracting it with a skeleton spell really can make the difference in an attack like this. That way he was able to use his, his uh, Barbarian King's Iron Fist ability later in the attack instead of him dying right there in the beginning. So very, very interesting and unique way to use a skeleton spell, distracting a single shot Inferno Tower. All right, guys, next up, this is gonna be a Sui Lalo from probably the one of the best I've ever seen, that being Storm. This is from the war uh, Forbidden versus Spartan's Legacy. So again, who to learn from then the best. Went ahead and dropped down a couple balloons on that Tesla as a Tesla pop. The enemy CC came out, uh, basically lured all the air targeting troops out of that clan castle. Heroes up at the top, up at 12 o'clock, and he's gonna get incredible value. Gonna be taking out an expo, gonna be taking out both of the wizard towers up here. Uh, just a traditional Sui Hero Lalo, and even with Town Hall 10's putting uh, damage CCs, that being whether it's a big dragon, a baby dragon, witches, things like that, uh, that will be lured uh, from air, that can still you know target air troops. Uh, drop down a couple loons sometimes, if you want to invest enough and it's worth it to drop down a loon and a couple haste, pull those troops out. You can go ahead and get the get the lure. All right, guys. So he's gonna be starting his Lalo up here at two o'clock and at three o'clock, dropping down three haste spells, three big clumps of loons coming in. And check this out, guys. Notice the skeleton spell placement. That bomb tower is wrecking the skeletons. But like I said, with the town hall nine attack, very quickly those balloons swooped in took out that bomb tower and made sure that queen was going to go down with the raids with the skeleton spell under rage very very powerful even had a couple pup squeeze in there and helped take out the enemy queen and this base completely got toasted uh, gonna be ending over here at nine o'clock <laughs> like i said you guys storm freaking killing it with sui hero lalo whether it's going to be how loon cc whether it's a damage cc does not matter even if that queen is smack dab in the middle of the base uh even next to a bomb tower and other point defenses if you guys have those skeleton spells under rage even if there's a bomb tower dropping out a skeleton spell will take her out guaranteed and as promised <laughs> always saving the best for last this is this might have been the only types of attacks where i've seen the skeleton spell used in this matter of weight until you guys see this notice a uh, mask goes ahead and breaks both wall junctions up there at 12 and over at nine not knowing which way his queen was going to path and this is going to be a traditional um well, I don't even want to say traditional, but it's a standard style um, queen walk into a queen charge bitch attack. A uh, very, very heavy push on this attack. Check this out, though, you guys. Look at that skeleton spell to take out the freaking eagle artillery. There is no splash. There's no Tesla throwing that eagle. There's no wizard towers, no bomb towers, nothing. And if you guys missed it when he popped 
uh, the Grand Warren ability, even a couple of those skeletons were immune for, what is it, five seconds, completely wiping out that Eagle Artillery. And from over the wall, the bowlers would not have been able to reach that Eagle Artillery. Even the Queen would have been able to reach that Eagle Artillery. But the Skeleton spell was able to reach that Eagle Artillery, took it out. And the rest of this is pretty much going to be... Um, uh, just me mowing through this base uh, as you guys saw his kill squad start up at 12 o'clock went over to three down to six gonna be ending at nine pretty much made a u-turn around this entire base and as you guys see with what is left up with, with the heal where he still has his healers so has all kinds of bowlers still has a freaking heal spell and the most crucial the most important uh, aspect of this attack in my opinion is that archer queen ability I mean especially a level 50 Archer Queen, I'm telling you, she can mow through six, seven, it seems like even eight defenses, especially if there's a, a couple witches or bowlers, um, you know, kind of tanking for it. It really seems like she can last forever towards the end of a raid and saving the best for last. Uh, uh, the town hall was the last building to go down. Uh, but that is gonna do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you find it helpful from town hall nine to town hall 10 to Town Hall 11, whether you're trying to distract Infernal Tower, whether you're doing a Sui Hero Lalo, trying to take out that queen in the middle of the base, whether you're using skeleton spells uh, to assist you in something like a hog attack, or even if you're doing a Lemby 11 triple, using a skeleton spell, uh, using it in a very innovative way to take out the Eagle Artillery. Uh, there's pretty much no boundaries in what you can do with the skeleton spell. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Any comments, questions, or concerns, you guys already know those go down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.